Today's competency is attitude management and inner drive. This competency could not come to life at a more important time in the 21st century. Our world and people are hurting. Everything from financial fall to Mother Nature's devastation, star assistants losing their jobs, and bankruptcies and foreclosures. But this is an opportunity for us to bring out our greatness, to show compassion, to have empathy, to not give in to self-pity, but rather be victors of our circumstances. Now, as we look at this competency, remember there are four elements. We're going to first look at the past, present, and future. Then we will look at the art side, and then the science side, and then how do we optimize attitude and inner drive. Get your journals ready. So in the past, attitude was always a choice. People always had the choice as to the attitude they wanted to embrace. Be a possibility thinker. If you think about the past and our ancestors who came over to this country, they were possibility thinkers. When I look back at my heritage and my grandparents coming over from Italy, they definitely were possibility thinkers. So we need to think like immigrants, which means be a possibility thinker. Also in the past, secretaries had an attitude of pride about their profession. There were not a lot of career opportunities for women. You were either a nurse, secretary, or school teacher. But one good thing is we were proud of our profession and our career. And that is something we need to bring into the present. In the present, attitude is about choice. As an admonologist, every single day you get to choose the attitude you want to embrace. That is great news. Attitude management is about not running amok. It is catching yourself, knowing when your attitude is starting to slip, maybe because of an event or a person. Maybe Debbie Dragon has said something that has upset you. But attitude management is about managing your attitude and how you respond to people. Your inner drive will make you stand out. Inner drive is finding what you are passionate about, what you do really well. I just wrote a great blog not too long ago, and it's called Bloom Where You Are Planted. Now, I can't take credit for this. This actually was an idea from an administrative assistant. Her name is Darlene. And you just really need to check out the blog. It's at officedynamics.com. Well, now we're going to take a look at the future. In the future, attitude management and inner drive will always be necessary to be successful as an admonologist. If you just think about your future, the next one year, two years, three years, five years, you have to have a good attitude. You have to remain hopeful and positive about the world around you as well as your career. Now, let's take a look at the art side. Of course, attitude management and inner drive is really about the art side. Remember, attitude is a choice. I can't say that enough. And if you choose to get upset, that's OK. Just know it was your choice. Secondly, self-management. You can change your reaction to a situation by changing your thinking about the situation. Number three, inner drive. Use your passion. Do what you do really well and make sure people know about your talents and expertise. Number four, be a possibility thinker. Adminologists think about what could be. How can I improve this? How can I streamline this process? How can I be more efficient? How can I have better communications with my team? How can I better support my executive or my company? It's about possibility thinking, not just what is and what you see in front of your face. Now let's go on to the science side. 
For attitude, it is to look at a situation in a logical fashion. In other words, when something is happening that upsets us or frustrates us, or we feel overwhelmed at work, or we hear bad news about how the economy is and the company is going to downsize and reorganize and people are losing their jobs, it's really easy to get upset about that. So the science side is to logically look at what is happening. Let me give you a perfect example. We all have been struggling with economical issues and challenges the last two years, probably at least, I guess. And if you really study the cycle of business, it is just a cycle. We always have ups and downs. We always have highs and lows. It's like the stock market. So logically, you have to tell yourself, this is not going to last forever. It won't. It can't. And you just want to keep preparing yourself so when there's a turnaround, you're ready to take advantage of it. The logical side. It's easy for people to color your vision about a situation that is going on at work or an individual. So you want to make sure you get all the facts, the details, and just don't assume we really get into trouble when we make assumptions about something. It's also using a calculating approach to your problems, your issues, and just the day-to-day -day decisions that you have to make. We're going to speak a lot more on this subject and cover this in greater depth as we move through adminology. Now, how do you optimize? Expect others to respect you and respect your profession. Muster up every bit of mental and physical energy you can. You have to pay attention to what you eat during the day, what you eat at night, what about your physical activity, did you sleep well? Now I'm no expert on this subject, but I can tell you it does affect how we feel the next day or later in the day. Optimize by blocking out everyone else's negative attitude and be a cheerleader for this profession. Use that inner drive and that positive attitude to inspire other adminologists and eventually create your own circle of influence or community of practice. Well, that's it for today. Best of luck and be sure to come back for our next series of videos.